Federal agents today again searched the Cambridge apartment of bombing suspect Tamerlan Tsarnaev. There was no comment on what brought them back. Sources have told CBS News that small amounts of bomb residue have already been found inside, appearing to corroborate the story that Johar Tsarnaev has given investigators. Tsarnaev admitted the bombs were made in his brother's apartment. Tamerlan Tsarnaev's 24-year-old widow, Catherine Russell, shared the small apartment with her husband and their three-year-old daughter. The focus on her is intensifying. A search of her laptop found Al-Qaeda's online magazine, Inspire, which offers bomb-making instructions. Investigators would like to know whether Russell or her husband was accessing that material. The body of Tamerlan Tsarnaev remains at this Worcester funeral home. Today, his uncle arrived to arrange for burial, but funeral director Peter Stefan says he has not yet found one cemetery willing to bury Tsarnaev. You do have to bury him. You can't allow cremation, so if nobody does it, then whether it comes from Washington or wherever it comes from, they're going to have to help. As for the bombing victims, many are getting on with their lives. At last night's Boston Bruins game, Jeff Bauman got a hero's welcome. Fans cheered the 27-year-old, who lost both legs while standing near the finish line waiting for his girlfriend to finish the race. When he woke up in his hospital bed, Bauman helped authorities identify suspect Tamerlan Tsarnaev. In a statement, Bauman said, I want to thank everyone for their amazing support for me and all those injured and their families. I'm making great progress. The fund that was established to help the victims and their families has reached $28 million. Tomorrow, the fund administrator, Kenneth Feinberg, will hold a town hall and meet with the victims. He is expected to start handing out checks by the end of June. Don Daler, CBS News, Boston.